Well, hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna talk about makeup brushes again, only this time I'm gonna focus on how and how often I actually clean them. So let's go. So I'm guessing if you're here, it's because you care enough about makeup stuff to already know that you are indeed supposed to clean your makeup brushes. I I'm no professional, I'm not a makeup artist, I am not going to tell you this is what you should do and how often you should do it, I'm simply sharing with you what I do. There's one thing I know for sure and it's that however often you clean your brushes is probably not enough. How often I clean my brushes is probably not enough either. Um, I'm not judging, definitely not, because when I was younger, I didn't know, I'm talking like 20 years ago, I didn't know either you were supposed to clean your brushes. Um, and I'm guessing the frequency with which you clean your brushes depends also a lot on how often you actually wear makeup, how much makeup you're putting on, what kind of products you're using, um, if you know, you're just using the same brush to apply the same powder every day. I wouldn't say clean it every day, but I might be wrong. I I believe that makeup artists have to clean their brushes every time they use it, simply because they use it on different clients and for hygienic purposes. Like it, it makes sense to have a clean brush every time. If it's only you using your brush and it's always the same one for the same product, I mean, really, how important is it? Um, I mean, if you have uh, skin issues, if you have a tendency to have a lot of clogged pores and, and, and pimples and stuff, I would advise you to be more careful with it and clean them more often because even if you only use a brush on yourself with the same product, I mean, at the end of the day, there's still bacteria that can go onto the brush and then transfer onto your face. So... Yeah, just whatever you're doing, probably try to do it more often, I'm guessing. As time went by and as my knowledge of, of makeup evolved, I uh, started cleaning my brushes more and more often and I started um, having different uh, methods, which I will explain later, as to how to clean what kind of brush for what kind of purpose, if that makes sense. I used to really hate cleaning my brushes and I think it was mostly because I was waiting way too long to clean them and so I would end up with like 60 brushes to clean and it was just like, oh my god, like, no. Um, I now, especially now that I um, I am filming videos every day and I'm trying to use different makeup every day, I feel like I have a tendency to clean them way more often. Um, I also find it kind of removes a bit of the burden because it's just easier to do it once a week and have a dozen brushes than to wait for a month and, you know, have a lot more. Some would argue that it's still not enough. I'm not switching brushes every time I do my makeup. Um, like if, for say, okay, this brush I used to powder kind of all over with my Charlotte Tilbury. If tomorrow I do the same thing, I'm just going to use the same brush over again. Uh, but if I use two different blushes on two different days, then I'm going to use two different brushes. You know, so that's pretty much what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I am trying to be more diligent when it comes to how often I clean them. Um, also, one of the reasons why I can actually switch brushes every day of the week and still be okay is because I have a ton of brushes. Arguably, if you have one uh, brush for your blush because you only have one blush, cleaning that every day, it seems like quite of a hassle. But long story short, I now clean my brushes, I would say once a week, sometimes once every other week. I try to do it when this thing is filled, like these are all my uh, dirty brushes. Uh, but I think it was last week, I actually had 
a second one that was almost uh, full as well because I used a bunch of um, eyeshadow brushes. But yeah, generally speaking, I try not to let it go too far. Otherwise, I'm just overwhelmed and I don't want to do it at all. So I'm just going to scoot to the side to talk to you about the different um, tools I use to clean my brushes. And I'm going to insert here, I'm going to try to insert here some footage of me actually cleaning some brushes with these tools. Um, the first thing I use, and this is such a lifesaver, especially if you don't have a lot of eye brushes and you like to use different kind of colors, this is a brush cleaning sponge. So it's basically, you see it's a sponge like this, and you just roll your, your brush in it and it removes the pigment. It's not going to clean deeply the brush, but it's simply going to remove the pigment, so the color, if you will, on your brush so that you can go back into another eyeshadow color without it, you know, getting all mixed up. So that definitely is something I use quite often, even though I have a ton of brushes. Sometimes I just, I want to use the same one for two different things on the same day and I just swirl it in this and that's it. The next thing I can use is this uh, Norin's Brush Cleaner Spray. This is also from Sephora. I mean, they're fine, you know, they're good products. Um, I have another one from NYX. Um, I might have used it already. I honestly, I couldn't tell you what's the difference between them. But basically, you spray this on your brush and then you wipe it off on the tissue and it gets a bit cleaner. It is a no rinse, so you don't have to use any water. It dries a little faster as well, and so if using this little sponge thing is not enough for you and you really, really want to clean it a bit better and make sure there's no trace of pigment whatsoever, then you can use this. I feel like it's still not something that's deep enough. Uh, it's actually something I don't use quite as much as I used to because I have other um, products now, um, but it's always good to have on hand. The next thing I do is use a cleaner like this. This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. Um, I also have one from NYX, which I have used. I believe it's fine. This one though, I, I believe that anyone will tell you this one is the best. I got this on sale on Beauty Bay and I wanted to buy it for a while and it was on sale. I was like, give me the big bottle. I don't care. And so what I do is that I pour some of it in a little uh, Tupperware, <laughs> an old Tupperware from my mom. Thank you, mom. I don't think she knows. Um, and I just dip my brush in it and then I swirl it on a tissue and that is so, so, so efficient. I feel like this is a nice, on the spot, easy to do cleaning product, but this, this is amazing. And this actually removes the bacteria and it actually does smell like alcohol, right? Yeah, it has a strong, ugh, I don't know what it smells like. It does have a strong smell. I had some in my mouth, I feel like. Um, it's funny though, because when I put it in that bowl, it smells good. It smells like good plasticky. Anyway, um, so yeah, usually when I use this as well as this, by the way, it's only for eye brushes. I have in the past used my Cinema Secret for um, face brushes. So, you know, to clean a brush that I have used um, for a blush, um, a bronzer, even a foundation. Oh, I don't like it as much. Whenever it comes to face product, I'd rather, you know, pull out the big gun. If it's, if say that I used a, um, a brush for a blush for a couple of days for, um, a powder blush, then it's fine. I can use my Cinema Secrets and I find it to be, it is efficient and it's practical to have something like that because again, it's no rinse and it's quick dry. So if you want to clean your brush, but you're thinking, oh, I, I'm going to need that brush tomorrow, then, you know, it's all going to be fine. But when it comes to cream products, especially like anything, you know, foundation, concealer, I feel like 
it just it's gonna take a lot of this product I feel like to get it really clean I just like to rub it in water and soap and just make sure I remove as much as possible of the cream product that just dries and you know it's kind of gross so yeah it does work it's just I feel like I need to use a lot more and then I also have to use a lot of paper towel and it's just it's a bit annoying um but yeah this is definitely an amazing product to deep clean your brushes especially your eye brushes or your powder brushes without having to go get water go near a sink and having to leave your brushes to dry for like three days now moving on from brushes a little bit, um, my sponges, I actually cleaned them with the Beauty Blender uh, Liquid Cleanser. This one is lavender. I, I just, I don't need my cleanser to have any kind of smell, but it was on sale on Beauty Bay. There was some offer, you had this and a sponge, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna grab that. I don't know, I haven't used it yet, this is brand new, so I don't know what that smell is like. I was using the regular one, but it's like, it's there's really not much left in there. Um, so what I will do with that is that I will wet my sponge, and then I will put some of that liquid soap in the sponge. I will rub it in, make sure to really have the soap go into my sponge um, and then I will rinse it and make sure to get the soap out of my sponge with the foundation and I will repeat that process as often as I need until the, the soap that comes out of the sponge stays white which means there's no foundation left to clean. Now to be fair it's never a hundred percent clean i unfortunately i have used my sponge since so i couldn't really show you but it's never you're always gonna have a few stains and honestly that's fine i feel like a sponge is something that even if you clean it often you also like you can't use the same one for months and end you know because there's still gonna be stuff stuck in there that you cannot get to and because it's wet a lot of the time you can also get mildew so clean your sponges definitely but also make sure to change it up quite often as well now i could use a regular soap uh the same one that i do uh, use for my brushes for my sponge and it's actually some something i was doing at first it works just as fine it's just a personal preference really i i tried this once and I was like okay that's what I prefer I feel like I can get the soap to go really into the sponge a lot better than with a soap uh a bar of soap but I mean if you only want to have one product I mean it, it works just as fine this is just me being extra really um I mean probably all this video is I mean I have like a thousand <laughs> products to clean my brushes here so let's just move on so like I said I will every now and then use a little sponge like this just to remove the pigment or a spray or my cinema secret to do a quick uh cleaning um more or less deep cleaning but i will also like i said about once a week once every other week do a deep cleanse of my brushes and especially of the brushes that i use on my face um, and I will use this uh, Beauty Blender Solid and Scented um, Soap. I also use this. This is, I believe, from Primark. It was very cheap. It's kind of gross, honestly. <laughs> I've used it so many times. I believe Sigma uh, does the same kind of thing. I... I've never used it. I couldn't tell you if one is better than the other. I mean, it's. I don't even think it's that necessary. It's just that I like to really get in there. Um, so what I do is that I take my brush, I wet it, I dip it in my soap, and then I rub it on my glove, and I rinse it, and I go back in and rub it again, like I said, as many times as I need until the brush is clean. I then rinse it very well. I'm also trying to kind of reform the um, the shape 
of the brush, not let it dry like all crooked. And then I laid out on a towel. What I do is that I roll the towel a little bit so that the brush is not laying flat like this, but it's slightly bended. The reason why I do that is because the last thing you want is to have water go inside here. It's gonna happen regardless if you use water to clean your brushes, even if you're being super, super careful. I feel like it's it's unavoidable, but let's just say that it prevents uh, more damage. And that is another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, you see in the video, I don't, I try not to put water all over the brush, but really concentrate it on the actual bristles. Like I said, I, I feel like there's no foolproof method. It's just about reducing the risk because if water gets inside of the brush, it's gonna disrupt the glue that holds the bristles together and it's just gonna fall apart, basically. Now, when it comes to the soap, Generally speaking, like I said, I mean, this is from Sephora, uh, this is from NYX, even though I prefer the Cinema Secrets, I'm, I'm pretty sure the NYX one is amazing as well. I don't think you need to spend a fortune on makeup cleanser. Um, you could probably even use a regular bar of soap. I mean, as long as it's not something that has a ton of added perfume or whatever in it, it's if it's something that is um a nice and soft and gentle soap i believe it's gonna be fine but if you want to be as extra as i am and go for the actual <laughs> makeup soap which is probably more expensive but whatever um i definitely recommend this one from um the beauty blender brand i have used this one from sephora this is empty it will actually be in um my next empties video it's not bad it does clean the brushes but the smell of it there's a smell to this that i don't appreciate and i mean if it's only why i'm cleaning my brushes it's like fine whatever but i find that this leaves a thin layer of 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 soapiness on my brushes and that smell and it, it leaves my brushes a bit greasy I feel like and I do rinse my brushes but I feel like with this I have to be extra 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 careful when I rinse them and even when I do I always need to kind of go like that on a tissue after before I reuse it because it's yeah it, it leaves something on my brushes that I don't necessarily enjoy I've used it up like I said it's not a bad product it did clean my brushes it's just that my preference definitely goes to the beauty blender one so that is it for this video about how i clean my brushes i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up you can also subscribe to my channel because it's free so why wouldn't you and i will see you guys later bye